Hey guys, it's Peaches and welcome to yet another Sims 4 Spit Build. Today we are building Von Windenburg State and as you may know this is the uh, one of the biggest ones in Windenburg, if not the biggest one, I believe it's 64 by 64 uh, lot. So it, it's, a, it's a long video, this one, it's a long video. Um, originally the, sp the spit out video was 39 mi minutes I believe. I managed to cut it down to 25, so that's pretty good, I think. I hope you have uh, something to drink, maybe some snacks. I don't know, do a face mask or paint your nails, something like that, because, you know, if you're willing to watch the whole thing, you might as well relax, right? <laughs> anyway, so I did post a little sneak peek on uh, Twitter. F days ago I want to I don't know what days it anymore um maybe it was a week ago or so or so I don't remember but I posted a little sneak peek of this house on Twitter it was mostly like just the exterior it got a lot of uh, attention more than I was expecting but I asked who do you think was living here and a lot of you guessed uh, the VRLs the VRLs VRLs <laughs> however you want to pronounce it I, I don't really care um but yeah, they live here, you guessed it, you got it, and they have a pretty big house. The other one that they had originally, I did consider renewing it, but I remember seeing little Simsy trying to renew this that house. This was ages ago, probably a couple of years, and I remember her, her struggle with it, and I was like, you know what, I think I'm just gonna start from zero. Because <laughs> it was, uh, I don't know, it was a weird, uh, awkward floor plan, not that this one's better when you think about it, but it was an awkward floor plan. I didn't really like the exterior either, and when I, f when I found myself kind of deleting pretty much everything, I decided to, you know, to start over from the beginning, and I'm actually quite happy with this house. The exterior and the floor plan did take me a while, and I changed a few things, like, throughout the entire video, so the floor plan changes a bit right now I'm kind of working on the back trying to not make it look as ugly as the uh, front not as ugly a little bit better than the front because um, I think I I did base the front of a uh, reference picture but I don't remember where I saw the picture and I cannot find it either but if you see a house online that kind of looks like this one then you know you found my reference <laughs> I'm rambling a little bit Anyways, so I do extend the back a little bit. I don't know why. I think it's because I had so much space in this lot that I decided to make it a little bit bigger. And then I was like, why don't I make this house really fancy and, you know, put a library and an office. And I did. And there's a library, there's an office, and there's four bedrooms, I believe. Yeah, four bedrooms. I think there's five bathrooms. Um, just because I usually like to build an extra bathroom on the bottom floor always just for gameplay purposes more than anything many houses don't have may, many houses just have like a little half bathroom on the bottom floor but i don't know i just put a full bathroom because i had the space to do that and um yeah the bedrooms are pretty big they're ridiculously big actually and funny enough the smallest bedroom i believe is the master but the reason why I chose that bedroom in particular to be the master, which is gonna be on the right side of the house, is because it has a big bathroom and it has access to a balcony, which I did a, I really liked uh, the idea for the master bedroom to have a balcony, so you know I kept it like that. So here you will see me extending the uh, the back of the house a little bit, and this section is gonna have. Um, Hugo's bedroom, I believe is his name. There is also a tiny little bit of a balcony area next to his bedroom. He has a very small bathroom though, so it kind of like, I think it balances out a little bit. And you will also see me working on the landscape a little bit here and there. I kind of go back and forth in the construction of this house because it was so big and it was very overwhelming to just, you know, just plan out this space, I guess. Uh, I, I really don't like these big lots in The Sims 4. I know a lot of people like them to build a really big fantasy type of uh, type of builds. 
and like some people make really cool little towns and just one lot and things like that but I, I'm not usually that type of builder so I don't really enjoy that especially since I'm making this this save file where I'm trying to keep it vanilla while adding a little bit to it I don't know if I'm making any sense but anyways here I am adding some trees to the landscaping I think they're mostly debug so they don't, they don't cost any money and I like that just because it makes it easier to blend it with the with the environment just because the trees that came with get together and really in the background the trees that are in the background here in the uh, island of Windenburg are not are totally different so I wanted to um, you know make it a little bit more realistic I guess and inside the game realistic inside the game I guess what I'm trying to say but but yeah this house I think I started building a I want to say a few months ago and I finished last week or a couple weeks ago pretty much when I posted that screenshot on Twitter is pretty much when I finished building the house I think I put it up for a while just because I was really overwhelmed with the amount of space that I had to fill with furniture and when you look at it in perspective if you have ever been to a really big house. I've never been into a big two-door house, so I don't know what exactly they look like, but I've been in kind of more fancy houses, and a lot of them are more empty than, you know, that you would think. So it, in The Sims 4, builders are used to fill every space and every nook and cranny, but, and even in really big fancy houses, but realistically, nobody has that much decoration. So I don't know, I, I, I'm trying to like make up my mind about how I wanted to decorate that house and this house and it, it was a process, it was definitely a process and I think it turned out decent. Uh, the only space that I'm not quite happy with is the top uh, hallway, but that's because I didn't know what to do with the decor and I repeated multiple, multiple paintings throughout the house, I don't know, it's... You know, it's cozy, but it's a little bit like I could have done better. I think <laughs> I don't know I think I could have done better in this house. That's th that's what I'm trying to say and Here is where I start working with the floor plan Unfortunately, I did cut out a chunk of it just because I was very indecisive about how I wanted it to look so you believe it was the top floor that I did cut out of this video and um I'm no, I don't know if you guys like to see that, but when I do spend a lot of time trying to decide how I want something to look, I usually just cut it out. Because I don't think that as a viewer is very interesting to see me changing the shape of a room a billion times. And this is a very, very short video, but this is not the case. And I was looking to uh, cut out the most amount of fat possible and also keep it Keep the video so it made sense and you didn't get lost in what I was doing and blah 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 blah. Editing boring stuff. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so you will notice here that I'm working on the second floor but I do cut out to the kitchen and then when I go back to the top floor, the floor plan is a little bit different. So um, I hope you don't mind that I cut that out. Uh, again, you let me know if how interesting it is for you to see that because Again, I don't want I didn't want to keep this video too long and it's already pretty long. So I didn't feel like you wanted to watch that But anyways, this is the kitchen and it is pretty rustic I think the house in general is even though it's big and fancy. It's also Roost rustic and I wanted to keep it kind of cozy. I used a lot of uh, a lot of items from realm of magic too. I think here in the kitchen. So I used that little I don't know what it's called. It's like it looks like there's potions in there and stuff like that. I thought it was kind of cool looking and antique and all that stuff. So it's a little there's a bit of a mismatching of furniture here and there, but not too much. I wanted to, the you know the VRLs are really wealthy. <laughs> I believe the father is a uh, like a spy or something. I think so. <laughs> I don't remember. He has an office. Obviously, there's also a library that it's on the top floor But yeah secret agent. That's the, that's the word that I was looking for. He's a secret agent. I don't remember What the mother did I don't remember but they have three kids as you may or may not know. I think uh, Luna is the uh, teenage girl and then 
Hugo is also her age. He's also a teenage boy, and I think they have a little kid called Alex. I think it's his name. Oh my god, I looked this up like two days ago and I forgot already. <laughs> but anyways, here I'm cluttering the kitchen and putting some jars and like hanging dried herbs and flowers and stuff like that. I thought it made it look a little bit more, more cozy, more... I don't know. I don't know. I thought it looked cool. Okay. <laughs> and um, then I went onto the living room and I used these couches that I like so much from... Discover University. They, they, I think those are my favorite couches right now. <laughs> I use them all the time in many different swatches and um, I don't know, I just like them a lot. I don't know. They look really nice and really detailed but without looking like custom content, if that makes any sense. I feel like some of the... Um, sometimes, especially the stuff bags, I'm noticing that the style of the objects is a, li is a little less blocky and more detailed and it kind of looks like 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 a modern made it if that makes sense you know like it like it's made by custom content creators i don't know if i'm explaining myself but for example there's a table in nifty knitting with like a little chalkboard and it it's like the kind of thing that you only see on like tumblr or <laughs> or like mod the sims or one of those websites <laughs> i don't know and this is not to say that it looks bad or anything like that i just think it kind of like it feels like it's a different style of furniture and it definitely feels like someone else made it, which is, you know, you we know that a lot of people work in this game, so it, it kind of makes sense. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> Here I am working on the office is? This is the office, right? I don't remember. Yeah, this is the office. <laughs> this is the little office. It's pretty tiny, but it has a little uh, door that it goes outside. That outside doesn't really go anywhere, it's like a little, I don't know, like a tiny little balcony and you can maybe, I don't know, sit there and read a book or something like that. Like that. And um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's pretty cozy, I think. I like it a lot and there is obviously that little globe <laughs> that I like to put in the corner. It makes it look like you're, you know, you're very uh, educated and in reality you're just hiding a bunch of um, alcohol. <laughs> Or excuse me, juice. Um, but anyways, I always like to put that thing in, in offices that are like fancy looking and stuff. And next I will start working on Alex's room. I believe that's probably maybe the smallest room. Maybe I was wrong. And I did think about giving him a small bed. But then I thought, you know, these people are probably loaded. Yet he is a kid and he probably should have a small bed, but you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Let's just give him a double bed. He's gonna grow into it anyways and they can afford it. So I just give him this double bed from Jungle Adventure. It's one of the ones that I like. It's one of my favorite beds actually. I don't use it often just because the style is very specific, but since I am decorating this house in more of a rustic look. I did think it looked quite good in this house. I don't know. And of course tons of toys and you know little posters and all that kind of thing lying around as per usual. So I just had to cut out the video because I guess um, I have an iPad now. <laughs> uh, I got it for my birthday and um, I'm not used to machines talking back to me and I guess because of my weird accent, Siri sometimes thinks that I'm talking to her and as I was recording this voiceover, I think the iPad thought that I was saying, you know, that I was calling Siri and, you know, it responding me and <laughs> it scared the shit out of me, so um, that was fun. I don't really know if I like it yet, uh, I'm not used to talking to machines as I mentioned. Um, so I, maybe, maybe I'll get rid of her. <laughs> uh, I don't like that she's listening to me all the time. It's really creeping me out. But anyways, back to the build. You just saw me uh, decorating the uh, little balcony that is next to the living room. As I said, I, I do skip back and forth in this uh, build and I go to the left, to the right, up and down. And, you know, it's, it's a bit of a mess. But uh, next I do start decorating the library and I guess I leave it like halfway through for some reason and then I go into one of the bedrooms. I, I, again, as I said, it, it was a mess. I spent 
so long building this house. I think by the end of it, I just wanted it to be over. <laughs> so by the end, I was very burned out on on this house, and I just wanted it. I, I just wanted it to be over. It was. Uh, I'm really. I'm happy with it. I'm somewhat happy with it, but my God, <laughs> it did take forever to uh, to fill up this house. And um, as I said, it's not overly decorating decorated in many places just because I, I you can't do that <laughs> you can't do that in this game without going insane you know I don't know some people do some people do really crazy stuff in this game and that's okay you know if it makes you feel better if you're that talented and that patient I admire you but I'm not like that <laughs> I'm not like that so this is the master bedroom uh, and as I said it has a really big bathroom I do get rid of the little room on the right that you can see I thought that maybe I was going to be like build like a um, like a walk-in closet or something and then I realized it didn't really make sense I also thought about making a uh, what they call it a water closet which is basically a, a room with a toilet <laughs> But I thought this bathroom is already big enough and it didn't really uh, it didn't really make sense. So I just kept it like that and I removed the um, uh, this little side room. So I don't know when I do that. I think I do it next, I believe. So I removed that door and I put a little window right on top of the toilet. So that that's nice. You know, you can open the window. You can open the window and you can have a breeze while you um, do your business. It's nice, you know, it's nice. Maybe I'm seeing this because it's hot in this room and I and I just want a breeze to go through the window. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's the uh, fancy bathroom. And what do we do next? I believe I go to Luna's bedroom. And Luna's bedroom is very pink and very girly. Oops. It's very girly and very pink. And um, I don't know, I like it. I like it a lot. That bedroom does have a walk-in closet. But more than a walk-in closet, it has a um, it has a vanity, which I thought was really cute. But it does have some hanging clothes clothes on the wall. And uh, where did I put the the uh, the wardrobe? I believe I put it outside in the end. So I guess I left it more like a, like I don't know a room where she can uh, just sit down and do her makeup and maybe get, and grab a jacket and a in a bag or something like that. I don't know. It's cute. I, I wish I had that. <laughs> it is also pretty empty and I, I realized as I was building it, this is too big. And I don't know, I guess because of the shape of the house in general, it was too awkward to make it smaller. So I just kept it like that and it's it's bigger than her parents' uh, bedroom, but... You know what? This is... I don't know. It, it, it's, it's cool, I guess. Maybe if she wants to grow a family eventually in in this house maybe she inherits the house and she can have like this room as her master bedroom i don't know i don't even know what i'm saying <laughs> uh i'm just trying to justify the fact that i made her room way too big for this house and um i didn't know what to do with the space you did you do see me like struggling a little bit i think like especially on the back wall next to the bathroom i just didn't know what to do <laughs> with it so I pull up a bunch of posters and wall decor and stuff like that and I don't even remember what I end up doing. I think I put a plant next to the uh, next to the table, next to the desk. Yeah, I put that plant from um, the Bohemian stuff back. I don't remember. Movie stuff? Movie stuff. Yeah. Her bathroom is also very pink, but keeping with the style of the other bathrooms in the house. It's rare for me to not leave a bathroom, a bathroom for the end. I think it's the first one that I build in the house. There's one down below, but I do leave it for the end too, as per usual. As per usual. And I believe all of the bathrooms have either a shower, shower bathtub combo or just... Oh, I guess the... Um, the master bedroom has a just a bathtub because the parents need to uh, need to relax and you know they have all the time in the world I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> you know I gotta be honest with you this video has been pretty much edited for over a week now the only thing that I was missing was the voiceover and the reason I have been putting it off is because it's 25 minutes long 
And I, uh, I need to work myself up to it. I, I just, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm not used to doing voiceovers yet, but I just, I felt like it was such a chore to do a, such a long voiceover that I, I kept just thinking, yeah, I'll do, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, and I never did. And here we are, <laughs> two weeks later. So I apologize for the inconsistent upload. Um, I, however, have decided for a while now that I'm not going to stress about it anymore. I, I'm not planning to make a career with YouTube. It's just not stable enough, you know? So if I make $20 a month with YouTube, you know what? That's, uh, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. It's, it's cool. I'm okay with it. So I'll upload when I am happy with what I'm doing and I think I've said this before, but I will obviously keep working on the save file just at my own rhythm. And I know some of you are excited about it and want to see the next version, but please just be patient, okay? I, I've i actually decided that I'm going to release the next version when I'm fully done with Windenburg, which is very soon, actually. I know I haven't uploaded to YouTube all of the, the houses, but Windenburg, it's pretty much done. I believe I have like two or three more lots left. Um, they're all in the uh, modern neighborhood in Windenburg. I don't remember what it's called, but I think that's that's what's left. And maybe just make sure that all of the families and all that kind of stuff, it's, it's all set and... Uh, fix the little things that I wanted to fix uh, from the previous version and all that stuff and I will I I initially wanted to wait until I had uh, also send my Shuno finished but it is taking so long and since I took a little break from the Sims I decided that I wanted to you know maybe it maybe it's not version 2 maybe it's version 1.5 or something <laughs> I don't know and I've noticed that a lot of people who are doing save files do release them when they finish each world and maybe that's just a better idea i don't know um i know you're probably not gonna care about all that stuff and most of you are usually very patient and just tell me you know just do you do you and whenever you feel like and i really appreciate you understanding all of that so but yeah i don't know let me know what you think about that i honestly think that i should release the next version after i'm really fully done with Windenburg and, um, you know, at least have something to give you guys. And, um, uh, yeah. But back to the build, this is Hugo's bedroom. If you And if you're wondering why did I put so many food pictures up on the wall, it's because I noticed that in his, um, what's it called? His lifetime desire, his lifetime whim, whatever it's called, uh, he had that he wanted to be a chef. Or like cook or something like that so uh, I think he's a foodie too so I decided to kind of like maybe make his room a little bit more oriented towards that goal and that's why I put all those pictures maybe he likes to go to restaurants and like he's taking his inspiration pictures and I don't know I thought I thought it was a cute little detail I also put a little knitting basket on in his bedroom I thought that maybe he was more of a crafty boy since he likes to cook, he likes to, uh, I don't know, maybe he also likes to knit. If I can think of something that maybe complements the Sims personality a little bit, so for example, many times the only personality trait that the Sims have is just their own career. And that makes them a little bit bland and boring. So if I am, you know, building a room or decorating a room and I can think of something that maybe as to them a little bit more than just being like i don't know this person is a cook and that's all there is to their life that's not how people work so i like to to give them a little bit of something else if i can think of it sometimes i'm just in full on full on just decorating mode and i don't think about those things but if i do like in the case of hugo i thought it was a cute idea for him to have something else that maybe he was a little bit crafty and I don't know. I thought it was a cute idea. That's it. <laughs> um, but here, I think I'm coming up close to the end. I'm, as per usual, decorating the bathrooms. This is the bathroom that it's in the bottom floor. And then on the top floor, there's a little laundry room because, pff, of course, I mean, you're fancy enough to uh, 
to have a little uh, laundry room and I use these counters from uh, Jungle Adventure which are which are my favorite and I use them everywhere and um, it's a cute little laundry room I mean there's not much to it <laughs> other than um, just hanging stuff everywhere I also used that little uh, shelf from Eco Lifestyle I do like it a lot it's kind of a weird semi-modern style but I don't think it clashes too much with the rest of the room I don't know and then I do struggle a little bit with the exterior. I go back and forth and I'm like, do I put a fountain? What do I do? Do I put a pool? I decided to go for a little fountain that came with uh, Romantic Garden. The one, the one where you can sit on and you can like put like, you know, bubbles and stuff like that. And it's kind of fun and I don't know. Anyways, that is it for this video and I hope you enjoy and I will see you guys on the next one.